सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज 94 धिकरण्यम विशेषण विशेष्यता लक्ष्यलक्षण संबंध पदार्थ प्रत्यगात्म इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स सुरेश्वराचार्य डीलिंग विथ महावाक्य तत्वसी टू एक्सप्लेन दैट एलॉबरेटली इंट्रड्यूस दैट रिलेशनशिप कैन बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स relationship between tat and subam tat pada and tvam pada in that mahavakya of chandogya upanishad tatvam there are two words tat and tvam tat pada and tvam pada two words are there and each word has got its meaning पद अर्थ पद एंड पद अर्थ तत् पद एंड तत् पद से अर्थ सो दिस तत्व वी हेव टू सी इन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशन्स वन ई सामनाधिकरण्य संबंध टू ईज विशेषण विशेष्य संबंध नंबर थ्री ईज लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध एंड द फोर्थ क्वार्टर ऑफ दिस वर्स आचार्य प्रेजेंट्स इट एज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन व्हाट एंड व्हाट फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ द श्लोक टॉक्स अबाउट सामनाधिकरण्यम सामनाधिकरण्यम मीन्स विसा इन द लास्ट क्लास ई इंट्रड्यूस्ड सेम विभक्ति सेम एंडिंग्स वन नाउन एंड मेनी मेनी अदर नेम्स आर देयर लाइक विष्णु सहस्रनाम यूजिंग द सेम केस एंडिंग्स देयर सामनमिकरण ये ऑल द नाम ऑफ विष्णु इंडिकेटिंग द लॉर्ड नारायण विष्णु ईज प्रेजेंटेड इन थाउजेंड नेम्स ऑल आर इन प्रथमा विभक्ति सेम केस एंडिंग्स सो वन एंटिटी विथ डिफरेंट नेम्स मेनी नेम्स all those names are um, face, towards referring to one common entity that is vishnu that is called samanaadhikaranyam example we have taken and we took that into dashtanta how tatvamasi tat is also prathama ekavachanam tvam also prathama ekavachanam ending therefore both are in the same vibhakti even though tat means paramatma tvam is called jeevatma but both are in the same vibhakti samanaadhikaranyam sambandha roopena vaktum shakyate so drishtanta dashtanta we have to see <laughs> drishtanta and dashtanta then another example visheshana visheshya sambandha so one entity with so many visheshanams 
इन पार्थाय प्रतिबोधित प्रपन्न पारिजाताय तोत्र वेत्रै का पाणय दट एग्जाम्पल वैसा सो प्रपन्न पारिजाताय वन एडजेक्टिव टू सेम कृष्ण वन कृष्ण मेनी एडजेक्टिव हियर विशेषण एडजेक्टिव मीन विशेषण ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्णाय लाइक दैट ऑल विशेषण आर रिफरिंग टू वन कृष्ण विशेष्यम दट विशेष्यम ईज नउन विशेषण ईज एन एडजेक्टिव सो दिस इज द सेकेंड रिलेशन विशेषण विशेष संबंध बिटवीन टू वर्ड्स कृष्ण एंड ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्ण एंड पार्थाय ऑल आर क्लोज संबंध इज देर एनी संबंध देर मस्ट बी टू एंटिटी टू वर्ड्स मस्ट बी देर संबंध दिकोटि देन द थर्ड वन ईज लक्ष्यलक्षण संबंध थर्ड वन ई सैड हियर even though one common object is there with many descriptions in visheshana visheshya sambandha but for example so these two are sufficient samanaadhikaranya sambandha visheshana visheshya sambandha are sufficient for any flower also i said white lily for our white lily no. so that like that example also we saw and uh, common Uh, entity one and many descriptions whereas third one is very much necessary for mahavakya for local examples these two are sufficient samana adhikaranyam and visheshana visheshya sambandham but uh, when it comes to tattvamasi mahavakya you have to remove certain contradictory features in uh, jeevatma and some contradictory features in paramatma there in laksha lakshana sambandha particular some partial uh, removal of certain attributes contradictory attributes that is uh, done in laksha lakshana sambandha so this is our this up to here we saw in the last class now i have to elaborate further because it is a very important portion in this shloka second verse what we saw first quarter of the verse samana adhikaranyam is there now we have to apply to uh, tat tvam asi all these three relations what we have to do here first relationship between words pada tat pada and tvam pada samana adhikaranya sambandah between two words that is called samana adhikaranyam tat pada and tvam pada padayoho sama samana adhikaranyam sambandhah padayoho samana adhikaranya sambandhah between words we are talking about the relation between the words we are talking the relationship then second one second quarter he said visheshana visheshya sambandha how we have to understand artha we have to take tatpada artha then tvam pada artha two meanings are also there you hear two words tat word you hear tvam word you hear what we when you hear you get the meaning inside when i show i say pen pen artha will be there pen word is there so artha meaning is uh, immediately comes to your mind meaning so pada artha here second one visheshana vishesha sambandha tat pada artha tvam pada artha that means uh, these two words between two meanings विशेषण विशेष्य संबंध हाउ कैन वी से दैट पदार्थयो विशेषण विशेष्य संबंध पदयो 
ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದಾರ್ಥೋ ತತ್ಪದಾರ್ಥ ತ್ವಂ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ತತ್ಪದ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ವಂ ಪದ ತತ್ಪದಾರ್ಥ ತ್ವಂ ಪದಾರ್ಥೋ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸಂಬಂಧ ದೆನ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ತತ್ವಂ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಲಕ್ಷ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ತತ್ವಂ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ತತ್ವಂ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನೋ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನೋ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ತತ್ವ ತತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಪದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ತತ್ ಪದಂ ತ್ವಂ ಪದಂ ತತ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ತ್ವಂ ಪದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪದ ಅರ್ಥ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮನ ಇದ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಆರ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಯೋ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥಯೋ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ವೈಟ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೀ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೀ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೈಟ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ವೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವರ್ಡ್ ವೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವೈಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಪದ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದಸ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದಯೋ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪದ ಸಂಬಂಧ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಟು ವೈಟ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೀ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ವೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಪದ ಅರ್ಥ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದ ಅರ್ಥ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಸೊ ಪದ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಪದ ಅರ್ಥ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನೌನ್ ನಾಮವಾಚಕ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನೌನ್ ವೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ನೌನ್ ವೈಟ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ
what is the relationship between um, the flower lily flower and color there when we say white um, color lily flower what we have taken as noun and adjective now you have to say in second relation uh, what is the relationship here substance and attribute in the first what we said first relation padartha pada mean pada relation noun and adjective now in second relation what we are telling in uh, visheshana visheshya we have to say substance you should not say noun flower is a substance lily white is a, a color attribute substance attribute relation substance attribute relation is the second one first one is what noun and adjective relationship word meaning word relationship and word meaning relationship comes you have to say substance and attribute relationship substance visheshya attribute visheshana that is the relationship between these two words you should have uh, one choice you should not say um, substance and uh, attribute relationship between this um, uh, between the words you should never say substance attribute relationship between words you should never say substance attribute relationship what you should say you should say between words noun and adjective relationship alone is there between words so you should not uh, change interchange words and uh, meaning when it comes to words noun and adjective you have to say relationship when it comes to the meaning you have to say substance and attribute you have to say this much you have to remember therefore you can never interchange them uh, so between uh, the word for another example short man short man you can see in two ways short man pada artha you take pada meaning first word you take short is a one word man is one word ओके नाउ पद पदयोह संबंध यू हाव टू टेक द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वर्ड्स व्हाट आर द वर्ड्स शॉर्ट एंड मैन टेल मी नाउ मैन कम्स अंडर नाउन आर सब्सटेंस व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग द वर्ड रिलेशनशिप मैन कम्स अंडर नाउन एंड शॉर्ट कम्स अंडर adjective because we are talking about the word relation what are the two words man and short so man is called noun and short is called adjective why this relation is we are talking about the words words relation noun one word is there and uh, adjective another word is there short if you come to the meaning short man if you want to talk about the relationship of the meaning of short and man man becomes what uh, substance and uh, short becomes attribute when we are talking about the relationship between meanings of the two words so meaning of the two words relation when you talk you take that man as substance and um, short is uh, an attribute these are very subtle okay this is this is the difference between pada relation and pada artha relation similarly come to darshtanta now tatva masi <laughs> short man white lily uh, only for our understanding sake then we have to come to our original darshtanta tatva masi between the words and word meaning same way we have to do 
ತತ್ಪದ ತ್ವಂ ಪದ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ತತ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ತ್ವಂ ಈಸ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ನಾವು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದ ನೌನ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ತತ್ಪದ ತತ್ಪದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ತತ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ವಂ ವರ್ಡ್ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ when you come to the meaning of the tat and tvam tatpada meaning and tvampada meaning what is that we have to say substance jeevatma substance is paramatma jeevatma is adjective when it comes to pada artha attribute we have to take not adjective pada artha relationship meaning relationship when you want to take paramatma is the substance jeevatma is the attribute you can take other way round also if jeevatma is the substance paramatma is the attribute when when is this relationship when you are referring to the meaning of the tat pada meaning of tvam pada tat paramatma is the substance jeevatma is the attribute or jeevatma is the substance paramatma is the attribute padartha when you take so jeevatma and paramatma have the statuses of jeevatvam and paramatma paramatmatvam these are the two statuses jeevatmatvam and paramatmatvam okay now mm, when you say jeevatma our main topic darshtanta when you say jeevatma as a substance paramatma characteristics characteristics become attributes okay attribute when you say paramatma as substance jeevatma characteristics become attributes i'll repeat once again if you say paramatma is a substance jeevatma word meaning becomes characteristics becomes attributes jeevatma characteristics if you take jeevatma as substance paramatma becomes attributes so that is why join together one atma jeevatma paramatma is revealed as one atma endowed with endowed with jeevatma characteristics paramatma characteristics so we arrive at one atma because of mutual attributes and substance relationship jeevatma and paramatma jeevatma characteristics paramatma characteristics because of the mutual attributes characteristics and attributes attributes and substance both of them have substance status both of them are having characteristics that's why that relationship is substance attribute relationship okay <coughs> but uh, uh, with regard to white lily uh, we stop with samana adhikaranyam and visheshana visheshya sambandha but uh, with regard to tattvam asi one more we have to see and bear with me sometime we'll finish this laksha lakshana sambandha most important for tattvam asi mahavakya so here tattvam asi jeevatma attribute paramatma attribute then have certain contradictions sir paramatma is sarvagnah sarvavyapi omniscient omnipotent all pervading paramatma characteristics jeevatma i the individual am alpagnah alpishient 
not all pervading, all pervading I am, hmm? Jivatma. Therefore, I am not uh, omniscient, I am not uh, all, uh, all pervading, survey, omnipotent, omniscient, neither. So, therefore, uh, then how Jivatma become Paramatma? Those characteristics which are having a difference, one is at a macro level, one is at micro level, Jivatma, Paramatma have different characteristics, totally diagonally opposite. <coughs> Omniscient, opposite, alpicient, uh, uh, like that. Sarva Gnatma, Alpa Gnatma, Sarva Vyapitma, Alpa Vyapitma. Therefore, what you have to do? You have to remove those characteristics. If you remove characteristics, uh, Jivatvam and Paramatmatvam, Atma remains. Parama and Jiva, you remove intellectually. Atma remains. That is Lakshartha. So, Jivatma is Chit. That is the word used in the sloka. Pratyagatmana. Chit. Chit, there is no contradiction. Sat Paramatma. Paramatma, that is Sat, all pervading. Sadrupena. Aid Jivatma, Chidrupena in this body. Pratyagatmana. There is no contradiction. Atma, Atma, both are one and the same. There is only one Atma, Atma remain. So, Sarvagnya, Sarvavyapi, you delete. Alpagnya, Alpavyapi, delete. Atma remains. There is no contradiction. This is um, uh, between Vachyartha and Lakshyartha. So, when you say Vachyartha, primary meaning, there is... Um, uh, different limitations are there, difference is there, distance is there, Aikyam is not happened. When you go to Lakshartha by removing these characteristics, both the sides of Jivatma and Paramatma, one Atma, that is Lakshartha, so you, is retained. That relationship is called Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha. Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha. What is the consolidation now finally? Padayoho, whole thing whatever we saw until now, I will put in um, three sentences. Dashtanta, we are seeing Dashtanta. Padayoho Samana Adhikaranyam. Padayoho Tatutvam Padayoho Samana Adhikaranyam, noun adjective. Padarthayoho Visheshana Visheshya Sambandhaha Substance Attribute Substance Attribute Relation Padartha Pratyagatmanoho Fourth quarter of the sloka Padartha Pratyagatmanoho Lakshya Lakshana Sambandhaha So Jeevatma and Paramatma Pair is Lakshana Jeevatvam is a Lakshana Paramatvam is a Lakshanam. The pair, Jivatma, Paramatma, Jivatvam and Paramatma, Paramatmatvam, Paramatmatvam, they both are Lakshanams of Atma. So they disappear. They disappear when you take the Lakshyartha. So what remains in Ekatma is the Lakshyartha. Then only you can say Aham Brahma Asmi Lakshyartha. So Sajati Vijati Swagata Bheda Rahitaha Turiya Atma Ekatma Pratyaya Saram. Prapancho Upashamam means that uh, contradictory characteristics Upashamam <laughs> negated. No Vishwa Virat Sambandha. Hiranya Garbha, Taijasa, Sambandha, and Pragna, Ishvara, Sambandha, all are, the divisions are not there. So, <coughs> Ekatma Ityartha. Ekatma alone is called Sarvatma. Everyone, indweller Atma. 
so therefore in keno upanishad what the shishya said to guru um naham manye su vedeti nona vedechi vedacha yonas tadveda tadveda um yonas tadveda vedecha that uh, word uh, is very nice i will tell you nona yonas tadveda tadveda nona vedeti vedacha what is the meaning word se gadabida kenash panishad especially these words naham manyesu vedeti i don't know the turiyam i think uh, i don't know the turiyam naham manye i don't think i know brahman naham manyesu vedeti nona vedeti vedacha not that i don't know i think i don't know brahman naham naham vedeti vedacha not that i don't know brahman not that i don't know brahman then what yonas tadveda tadveda i know i don't know whoever knows this he knows <laughs> what my statement knows he knows in atma i know i don't know i am turiyam nona vedeti vedacha i need not know myself nona vedeti vedacha i don't i think i don't know it does not mean that i don't know therefore i know i don't know in moolam i said i know i don't know brahman means i know as i know brahman as myself subject i don't know brahman means i don't know brahman as an object i don't know brahman as an object whoever understand my the statements two statements that person is also a gnani who said keno upanishad student said whoever understand in this sabha my presentation my answer who is also a gnani naham manye suvedeti nona vedeti vedacha yonas tadveda tadveda nona vedeti vedacha that is the <laughs> keno upanishad student to the confidence his confidence okay therefore i don't know the turiyam means uh, i need not know me the turiyam i the subject am self evident ityartha pratibodha viditam matam so with this uh, this shloka meaning is over now we have to enter the fourth shloka introduction i will uh, read that portion same page um, <coughs> in the middle asmin sutra upanyaste kaschit kaschito kaschit chodayati yoyam vakyartha pratipatto purvadhyayena anvaya vyatireka lakshanah ಸ್ವರಸತ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿಸ್ಪಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫಿಸ್ಲಿಕಲ್ so um, terse portions also will be there and easy portions are also will be there whenever we listen normally we use the word when it is difficult i am not able to understand i am not understanding if you are understanding totally you need to if you know uh, everything you need not study from a teacher we are studying from a teacher means what since we don't know that subject matter we are studying why we are studying we are trying to understand the subject matter trying to understand when we will understand 
person to person it differs it takes time depend upon their capacity of grasping now in this paragraph in this paragraph pura pakshi comes and raise a question what is that pura pakshi asks a question asmin sutra in that brief uh, brief explanation of this mahavakya brief explanation of this mahavakya discussion asmin sutre when we are talking about um, uh, the mahavakya the relationship by that uh, knowledge one can attain moksha you are telling asmin sutre upanyaste in this discussion क्वचित चोदयति सम पूर्व पक्षी आस्किंग ए क्वेश्चन रेजिंग ए क्वेश्चन यहाँ अयम वाक्यार्थ प्रतिपत्त इस वाक्यार्थ सामनाधिकरण संबंध विशेषण विशेष संबंध लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध ऑफ दिस तत्व से महावाक्य वाक्यार्थ प्रतिपत्त फर् द नॉलेज ऑफ दिस महावाक्य प्रतिपत्ति मीन नॉलेज पूर्वाध्याय अन्वय व्यतिरेक लक्षण न्याय व न्याय ए युक्ति लाजिक इज प्रेजेंटेड अन्वय व्यतिरेक न्याय दैट आत्मा इज नॉन वेरिएबल इन ऑल वेरिएबल्स आत्मा इज अवेलेबल दट वे मेथड इज एम्प्लॉयड अन्वय व्यतिरेक लक्षण न्याय पूर्वाध्याय प्रीवियस सेकेंड चाप्टर यू हव सेड पूर्वाध्याय मीन प्रीवियस पोर्शन आलो उपोदात आलो बिग पारग्राफ इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ थर्ड चाप्टर पूर्व अध्याय पूर्वाध्याय मीन प्रीवियस पोर्शन दट वर्ड इज यूज अन्वय व्यतिरेक न्याय देर यू सेड सर्वकर्म संस पूर्वक अभिता अभिता There you said renunciation of all actions. Sarva karma sannyasa ha abhihita ha mentioned for attaining self knowledge. Jnana yoga sadhanam shravanamana nidhi dhyasanam dwara that is tattva masi mahavakya jnana na you will get moksha by uh, karma sannyasa. सर्वकर्म सन्यास क्रियम किम अय विधिपूर्व विधिपरीप्रापित किं वस स्वरसतः अयर द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर ज्ञान योग इज ए विधि से तत्व से महावाक्य ज्ञान टू गेट वट इज द साधन ज्ञान योग What are the components are there in Jnana Yoga? Jnana Yoga, uh, Shravanam, Mananam, Nididhyasana. Three sadhanas are there. These three sadhanas and allied sadhanas are sadhana chatushtaya sampatti. Sadhana chatushtaya sampatti, allied disciplines and Shravanam, Mananam, Nididhyasana, primary disciplines. Disciplines means uh, you have to do shravanam, mananam, nididhyasana, whole jnana yoga, sadhana. And the jnana yoga sadhana ke varthik munnadi, what are all allied sadhanas, what are all required qualifications, sadhana chetushtaya sampad. So this whole jnana yoga portion you are talking about uh, uh, for uh, karma, sarva karma sanyasa dvara you will get moksha through mahavakya jnanam. वाक्य अर्थ प्रतिपत्त दैट यू आर टेलिंग अन्वय व्यतिरेक द्वारा नौ टेल मी दिस ज्ञान योग इज ए विधि आर् नाट इट ईज ए विधि विधि मीन डूस एंड डोंट डज इट हेज गाट ए विधि ज्ञान योग ज्ञान योग विधि अस्ति ज्ञान योगे विधि अस्ति आर् विधि नास्ति Are there any rules and regulations compulsory, or not? In Jnana Yoga, is the question. Based on that question, 
this whole paragraph so two different uh, um, views are there here um, we give two different meanings for that to understand knowledge is not a an action vidhi nisheda when it comes uh, do's and don'ts commandment uh, chodana is there chodayati is it a commandment श्रोतव्यो मंतव्यो निधिध्यासीतव्य तव्य प्रत्यय हेस्क श्रवण मनन निधिध्यासन विवेक वैराग्य क्षमतावाद शक संपत्ति एलइड डिप्लीन आल दीज डिप्लीन आर् कमेंडमेंट आर् नाट फर् दैट वी से ज्ञान योग डज नाट कम अंडर ए विधि इट इज नाट एन एक्शन wherever action part comes there alone commandment will appear therefore knowledge is not an action because gnana yoga means gnana means knowledge what you get through shravanam knowledge what you get through mananam knowledge what you get through nididhyasanam not knowledge but gnana nishtha so this is uh, whole thing is uh, not come under action so according to veda veda or vedantic uh, teaching knowing is not an action according to vedantic teaching knowing brahman knowing atma as myself knowing action not only brahman or atma anything knowing knowing the color knowing the book knowing the house knowing everything it does not come under an action this is general rule knowledge is not an action therefore what uh, knowing is different from doing <laughs> action is different from knowing uh, with regard to doing we have got a choice with regard to knowing we don't have a choice with regard to doing we have a choice whether to go there or not whether to write notes or not doing with hands legs we have a choice but with regard to knowing the color the smell suppose we enter a puja room there is agarbatti smell is coming so you have no choice smell goes into your nose <laughs> ग्रहण इंद्रिय फंक्षन यू गेट द स्मेल फ्रैग्रेंस यू कैनाट अवॉइड नो नो ऐट शुड नाट गेट द स्मेल हैपन स्मेल फ्रैग्रेंस नॉलेज टेक्स प्लेस नोइंग दैट इज नाट इन युवर हैंड्स देर इज नो चॉइस बट वेदर टू एंटर द रूम आर नाट यू हैव ए चॉइस पूजा रूम आर एनी अदर प्लेस to listen a sound if you listen my sound naishkarma siddhi you are listening i am talking you have no choice whether to hear or not you hear my sound when you sit in front of the the phone or any instrument what you are using the sound enters you you don't uh, have any choice where are we don't have choice what are all places we have choice in seeing in uh, hearing in tasting in smelling in uh, uh, touch we don't have choice it happens knowledge knowing is vastu tantram no commandment for that you cannot command when your eyes are opened you are seeing forms that knowledge forms knowledge should not come on you cannot avoid it happens seeing knowledge seeing is comes under knowing See, knowing what colors forms you are knowing hearing sounds you are hearing you cannot avoid however much you close your eyes it enters smell also foul smell or no, fragrance you cannot avoid however much you close your nose the smell goes inside you have no once that contact it happens in the tongue the taste rasagnyanam takes place you have no choice but in action you have a choice because it is kartrutantram 
it depends upon the karta the agent therefore action produce certain things gnanam doesn't produce anything you get gnanam flower gnanam it doesn't produce anything it doesn't take you anywhere what are all the four uh, types of uh, actions what action uh, produce that uh, karma produce four types of um, um benefits it gives four types of benefits number 1 is aapti uh, aapti means uh, uh, reaching reaching utpatti production producing this we saw in different classes some of you may have uh, remembrance uh, you can remember aapti utpatti samskara vikara these are all the um, four types through action by walking you can reach to a place that is called aapti then utpatti you can produce something by doing cooking you can produce food or you can produce dhanyam anything you can produce by Uh, utpatti utpatti is a karma it produce a karma it produce certain things and it takes you walk it will reach you will reach to some distance some place reaching aapti utpatti not only that um, vikara modifications in karma there is an vikara in gnana there is no vikara there is no any modification there is no change at all you see a form what modification comes in that gnanam there is no modification you hear the sound no modification but when you do any karma modification will come in action there is a possibility of vikara modification that is uh, uh, third one if you wash your clothes so suppose if you put um, um, clothes in a color water modification take place if you got the dirt and modification takes place in our dress vikara takes place that karma similarly samskara you can refine if you washing the clothes and that is called refinement samskara rupa prayojanam through karma vikara rupa modification through karma mutpatti rupa prayojanam through karma aapti rupa prayojanam through karma so aapti utpatti samskara vikara happens because of action all these four doesn't happen in gnanam all these four neither aapti you don't reach anywhere through knowledge knowledge through color knowledge sound knowledge taste knowledge smell knowledge you don't reach anywhere you don't produce anything you don't modify anything you don't purify anything so this is what we are going to take towards moksha later this we saw already in previous of my some of my classes so therefore when you see the colors uh, you don't produce any transformation you don't produce any modification you don't produce any uh, refinement in that that is the idea here aapti utpatti samskara vikara are not happened in gnanam they are all definitely happen in either one or other in karma so this is the main discussion very big discussion in vedanta so knowing uh, all knowing are different from doing things so one point this is we have to remember so now next point is uh, with regard to vidhi so gnanam is kartrutantra vastu tantram karma is karma kartrutantram this is the one point we have understood now what is the view of um, 
Veda with regard to disciplines. Next question. What is the view of Veda with regard to disciplines, Jnana Yoga disciplines? Um, Shatka Sampati disciplines, Shravanamana Nidhyasana disciplines. Here only uh, we are some few points we have to di uh, discuss. What is that? See, in uh, Shravana Manana Nididhyasanam, study of scriptures, qualifications, there are two types, formal and casual. Formal and casual. Casually you enter in Shravanam Mananam. There are some students study casually. Casually they take Shravana Manana Nididhyasana study of scriptures casual. It's not very formal for them. In formal thing, formal and non-formal. Casual means non-formal. Non-formal means whenever they like they listen. Whenever they don't want to listen, they don't listen. Whenever they want to um, have this sadhana chatushtaya sampatti also, it is there. Uh, casual only. That means no commitment. No commitment. In commitment there will be a nischaya. In commitment there will be a sankalpa. In commitment there will be a, an abhyasa. Many students uh, will come. I am talking about Vedanta students. In any other work field also you can take. But our subject matter is Jnana Yoga, Moksha and therefore Sravanamana Nididhyasana, Sadhana Chitushtaya Sampati, our whole subject matter is this only. Okay, that is why we are taking. Their vidhi or not, it depends upon the person. Whether he is a committed student, he will take a formal, going to a guru, asking for Jnanam, I want keeping in contact with a guru. This is formal way of study. Committed to attend the class, listening every day, keeping in touch with Shastra is formal. Commitment. There is sankalpa, nishchaya. Abhyasa will be there. But a teacher cannot uh, impose. Teacher cannot impose on the student. The student has to take uh, whether the sankalpa to be taken, vows like disciplines are what they are like vows, commitment, vows um, in uh, formally they take, vows uh, they enter into a disciplines in a formal manner. All upanayana is for what gurukula to go, it is a commitment uh, in a Brahmachari Ashrama, a person uh, does Veda Adhyanam, is a one set of discipline. In every ashrama there are disciplines, you see. In Brahmachari Ashrama, Veda Adhyanam or any study is one set of discipline. Grahastha Ashrama, Karma Yoga is the discipline. In Vanaprastha Ashrama, Upasana Yoga is the discipline. In Sannyasa Ashrama, Jnana Yoga is the discipline. What is this? Discipline is there if they take uh, with the commitment. With the commitment they take, um, it's like, um, if I give you example, you understand. Uh, if you want to buy a house, uh, legally you have to do registration. It is not uh, casual. Formal. Uh, legally you have to go everything. Registration will be there. Or if you go and your friend gives house uh, just to stay for 10 days and uh, that is casual. There is no any legal process in that. You need not do any registration. That is easy. Some advantage is there. But disadvantage is what? You are not permanently going to stay there. Because it is not legally belong to you, that house. Okay, correct? Like that, here also, in our Vedic disciplines also, if you are um, committed, you take uh, them as you are part of life, as a vow. Like people tie, you know, red thread, 
uh, and um, they uh, use uh, uh, tulasi mala, rudraksha mala, they take sankalpa, it is a commitment. Without commitment people also study, but uh, uh, advantage, disadvantages are there. When you take uh, formal sannyasa for study, there is a commitment. You should not violate. Suppose you take vows, if you follow disciplines, you are committed, take sankalpa, nischayam, you are doing abhyasa, you cannot violate. If you violate, if you violate, there is a fall. Even japa also, it is a commitment. Many people were afraid of taking japa. All the disciplines, why many people are afraid of uh, uh, disciplines, na? if you don't follow, there will be a papam. Because you have taken vow. Vratam means what? You have taken vow. So, shravana manana nividhyasanam, if you study shastra with commitment, with sankalpa, you will get the benefit, more benefit, because of you are following all disciplines. A casual student never be committed, never follow any disciplines. He does not know what is sadhana chatushtaya sampati. Listening to Shastra, you ask a student, what is sadhana chatushtaya sampati? Come on, explain. Shatka sampati. I don't know. Suppose. It's a casual student. So there is no benefit for them. They are just only listening the sound. <laughs> but a committed student, what is Shama, what is Dhamma, what is Uparama, what is Shraddha, what is Shramadhanam, how I am following, how, how much extent I, they are all in me. All these are very, very committed, this person, Abhyasa will be there. It's therefore, what uh, Sureshwar Acharya want to say, Jnanam, even though it is uh, <coughs> uh, not come under any any uh, action, it is not doing, it is knowing only, but when it comes to disciplines, allied disciplines, there is a nischaya, sankalpa, abhyasa, commitment is there, uh, formally uh, they take sannyasa for that, some people, and uh, they committed to study of scriptures. <coughs> Therefore, in disciplines, uh, there is a it's not a commandment. There is no commandment there. But in karma kanda there is a commandment. In jnana, motive is what finally all sadhana chatushtaya sampati oriented towards moksha. Shravanam oriented to moksha. Mananam oriented to moksha. And uh, niridhyasanam moksha. All are uh, uh, towards moksha only. But in karma is not like that. Different, different. Apti, Utpati, uh, Samskara, Vikara, different prayojanams. But in Jnanam, Atma Jnanam, eh, Sadhana Chatrushtaya Sampati or uh, in the Sravana Mananidhi Dhyasana, mainly for Moksha. No difference in that. More details we will see in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivava Sishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om